machines, abstract machines. Hi, I'm a robot, a machine. There are many machines around us in everyday life. How do these machines do what they do? As an example, let's look at how a turnstile works. A turnstile is used to control entry, such as at subway stations. How does a turnstile control who may pass through? A turnstile has two states, locked and unlocked. It also has two transitions, from locked to unlocked and from unlocked to locked. And it has two inputs, a coin or a pass unlocks a turnstile and the push locks a turnstile as we walk through. Sometimes inputs don't have any effect. That is, they do not lead to a transition from one state to another. For example, if you use a coin or a pass on a turnstile that is unlocked, it remains unlocked. And if you push a locked turnstile without using a coin or a pass, it remains locked. This diagram is an abstract representation of the mechanical logic of a turnstile. When trying to understand how machines work, it helps to represent their states, the inputs that affect their states, and the transitions from one state to another in abstract ways. Computer scientists and mathematicians use such abstract machines to develop theories of what may be computed. Another example would be a vending machine. Let's consider the good old days when you could buy a snack for 10 cents. The valid inputs would be 5 cents or 10 cents. The possible states would be 0, 5, and 10 cents. From the state of 0 cents, the possible transitions would be 5 and 10 cents. From the state of 5 cents, the only possible transition would be 5 cents. What if the price of a snack is 15 cents? How would the abstract machine change? Well, the number of states would increase, and adding transitions will we get this abstract machine. Now it's your turn. Consider the case where the price of a snack is 25 cents. What would be the inputs? What would be the possible states? What would be the possible transitions between states? Design the abstract machine for this case.